Hey guys, Brad here connecting from UB Central, and today I wanted to showcase a brand new mod that adds a ton of content to Watch Dogs 2. I'm not kidding, the amount of stuff packed into this makes it feel like a completely new experience. Think the Living City mod, but for Watch Dogs 2. Sweet! With this mod, there are 500 plus added clothing options, different hairstyles for Marcus, new vehicles like helicopters. Yes, helicopters are in the game now. Weapons from Watch Dogs 1 and hideouts like Dushan's apartment. In this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite features from the extended mod, but I recommend checking out the entire list on Nexus mods because again, there is a ton of content here. And before we go any further, big shout out to hey Slick, that's me for creating this. Development started all the way back in 2017, so they've been working on this for quite some time. I'll have a link to all their socials in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier, there are now over 500 new clothing options. This includes pre-order bonuses that were exclusive to PlayStation 4, like the Bitflip and Bloom Engineer outfits. You can also now obtain seasonal clothing from the multiplayer mode if you originally missed out on those. When it comes to mask, default and Rich's mask are now available, so if you've always wanted to wear them in the open world, you can now do that. And there's even a toggle option which allows you to wear a mask wherever and whenever you want. You no longer have to be in a restricted area. But yeah, there is a lot of new clothing options to choose from, and there's also new customization features. For example, you can now remove sunglasses and earbuds. I will admit, it feels strange seeing Marcus without either of these, but the option is now available. And speaking of strange looking things, you can remove clothing, so if you want Marcus in just his boxers, that's a possibility now. There's other customization features like changing your hairstyle, which Honestly, the options are not that bad, and down the road we'll also be able to change facial hair, so stay tuned for that. From the wardrobe menu, you can now add abilities that are attached to specific clothing. For example, the shuffler outfit has a really cool effect when you're wearing that specific outfit. But now, you can just select the ability, and whatever clothing you have on, you'll see that animation, which is super nice. And before I forget, you can install the wardrobe app in the app store, which allows you to change your clothing wherever you are in the game. You don't have to fast travel to a clothing store or an HQ, which is really convenient. Cars on Demand got a few new vehicles. I think the biggest one for me is the helicopters. Small thing, but I really love how you can just put different paint jobs on them as well. They don't control the best, and if you go too high, you'll get stuck. So be careful about that. But it's super cool just to see San Francisco from a different perspective. Other vehicles I want to highlight are the bicycle, which rides like any other vehicle, just a bit slower. And then there's this teapot that never ended up making it into the final game, which is a bit of a shame, but through this mod you can experience what it would have been like to some extent. When it comes to vehicles, there's also a new camera angle, which gives off this sort of top-down arcade effect. Apparently this was supposed to be in Watch Dogs 1, but ended up getting cut, so it's nice to see it here. Gameplay has seen some new additions as well. As I mentioned earlier, there's new weapons, but for me the real highlight is focus mode. You can slow down the game somewhat similar to the effect of Watch Dogs 1. This really showcases some of the great animations from combat takedowns to parkour, and even the shuffler effects. It's not exactly like the first game, again it's more of just slowing down time. It's not going to improve your accuracy or vehicle handling, but still, at least to me, one of my favorite features. Another new thing with gameplay is luring enemies closer to you, similar to the Assassin's Creed whistle. Marcus has a variety of funny noises and sound effects that he makes that you can use against enemies or even out in the open worlds. I was hiding behind a car just making all these weird noises for like five minutes and it's so funny to see. This is a really cool feature too. And speaking of the open worlds, you can also visit new hideouts that were used during cutscenes. That random apartment you wake up in at the start of the game, that's now available with a 3D printer and wardrobe. I double checked, sadly that girl isn't there anymore, but still very cool to visit. You can also go to Dushan's apartment with those options, so again, the 3D printer and the wardrobe. 
So long story short, this mod has a lot to offer and I didn't cover every aspect. The extended mod is still being developed, so expect some bug fixes and even more features. Hey Slick, that's me, literally wrote 26 other potential things that could possibly arrive down the road. I honestly can't recommend this mod enough. If you're on PC, go to the link in the description, see everything it has to offer, and try it out for yourselves. This really is like a Watch Dogs 2 director's cut, and it's super easy to install. Seriously, just download the mod, open up the game directory folder. For me, it's program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, then Watch Dogs 2. Drop this config file in there, then open up the data win64 folder and drop in patch3.dat, patch3.fat, and you're good to go. All the instructions are also on the website too. Also, if you're worried about your save, highly recommend backing that up just in case. I personally had no issues, but you never know because this is a mod. As always though, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all later.